Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, you may, uh, if you've been playing this game, you might know which map I am on. I am in Africa. I sound like a lion. Look at that. This game is freaking beautiful. Um, this is my first time hopping onto this map. Um, so I'm just doing some of the stuff that the guy told me. Apparently I'm the Grand Warden, Warden's grandchild or something. And he kind of wants me to take over as Warden of this area. So he said, go to the lookout point so you can, uh, get an overview of the land. And then over there, I assume is one of the lookout, not the lookout tower, one of the checkpoint things. He said, uh, we need to go and reevaluate that. Is that something over there? Oh. Anyways, without further ado, let's do this. You see it again, don't you? Africa, the land where people began. I knew you couldn't leave Voronga forever, forever, grandchild. The day our family adopted you, I saw the fire in your eyes, and I said, that child is Noi, mystical, magical. And now I know I'm right. Hmm. The ancestors brought you back here on my behalf. Thank you for coming. You've still got those other jobs to do, right? Don't slack. <laughs> I love how he doesn't beat around the bush. Oh man, Africa. Such a beautiful country. Um not that you guys would know this, but I actually uh lived in Africa for several years. Well, I guess a couple years. And uh it was amazing. I wasn't in this type of area. Uh, I lived in a place uh, called Mozambique, and uh, I did run in and see some wildlife, mostly baboons and freaking crocs, um, because most of these other crazy animals, like the lions and elephants and giraffes and whatnot, yeah, you, I, I still saw the occasional giraffe or whatnot, but many of those things... Uh, got killed quite a bit during their civil war and so majority of the populations were pretty much wiped out you'd have to go into uh, more into the the mato or the like rural forested areas in order to see more of this stuff or uh, when you'd go help people in their mashambas which are basically their their gardens out in the middle of nowhere. You'd also see stuff. You'd be like working in the fields and just hoeing away in the field. And you look around the corner and there's a river there and there's this massive croc just chilling there. Dang. Now you just have to do one more thing. Then I have a surprise for you. <laughs> no, I'll spoil the surprise for you. It's more work. Ah, such is the life, eh? Poop. That outpost is much more accommodating thanks to your handiwork. Thank you for fixing the place, grandchild. Can you call me something other than grandchild? I mean, I don't mind, I guess, but actually, let's grab, change up our inventory a bit. Because right now, I think I got 22 or 308 and a bow. Um, now let's go find something, guys. What do you think we're going to find first, huh?
we're going to find a what's that we're going to find a lion a jackal a hyena i didn't even know what's all on this african map i know lions Oh, there's jackals, obviously. That was a pig call. This should work for jackals, right? In theory. Where are you, though, man? Is it going to be a singlet, or are they going to be in a in a pack? You have to be always on your guard in Africa. There's literally so many things that'll literally just destroy you so easily. Ooh, a springbok. What? Doomed him! Oh yes! That was a perfect shot! Get on the ground, you fart! Get on the ground! Ooh, what's this? <sniffs> scrub hair boobies. Hey, little hair. The scrub hair. Mfundla. Like the savannah and the scrubs, as their name obviously suggests. They breed during droughts, and we've had plenty of droughts, so you'll find them zigging and zagging all over. Okay. First animal on the Africa map, and it's an old springbok. Basically, a deer the size of a guinea pig. Dinky little Our thing. Our old friend, the bronking springbok. Harvesting springbok is a reliable way to feed local markets and prevent overgrazing if you can catch them. I yeah, they're the equivalent of like three of chicken nuggets. That was perfectly executed. That is everything I ask you to do. Awe, grandchild. Dang, this map is so open. <gasps> oh no, well, we have a problem. Remember how we lost the elephants and all but one rhino? You know what the problem was, don't you? Poachers. Do I get take on they poachers? They littered the reserve with traps. The Vusha, the eastern land, was hit hardest. My crew helped the police push these poachers out of the Vusha, but they left so many traps behind, no matter how many we've cleared, we keep finding more. A junior guide spotted a few of these traps not far from where you started. Could you kindly clear them out? Maybe. <sighs> Roscoe, you scared the poop out of me. Thought a lion was going to come and eat my left butt cheek. Is there a waterfowl in here that I can shoot? Bunch of springbok nesting areas. Let's go to the water. Things always need water. Look at him! Look at the little bouncing dudes. That's so adorable. I almost don't want to kill them. Psych! Can I do it anyway? 
unless they freaking run away just so far. Come back here. There's no way. How are you still alive? That was a 308. Oh my gosh, dude. No, the freaking breathing on this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Doom. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the only thing we're going to be getting is freaking spring box. I'll go harvest these, head back over to the water, see if there's anything over there. Did you guys hear that? Sound like something. What is that? Oh. We'll go check that out after. Go pick up our two juicy spring box that I dropped next to each other. Seriously? I dome pieced your friends and you just. You'd think the gun weighed like 500 pounds. That's so adorable. I love that. I want a spring buck now. Yoink! Numero un, numero dois. Oh. Dang, you can get a decent penny, pretty penny for these things. Dang. Look how red that one is. What a beautiful animal. Let's go back over here. The Cradle of Mankind, Tier 2. Same reward by going to the Hunt Club menu. I'll do that later. What are those? Is that nothing? Is that just shrubs? Well, I'm dumb. Roscoe, keep up with me or you'll get munched. Oh! <gasps> Will the beasts. Oh, <laughs> yes. I don't care about stupid hair. Hamgani, the blue wildebeest, were born to run. And they can run in herds of thousands. Unfortunately, they are not the healthiest animals. Diseases like foot and mouth spread quickly among them. So do parasites. We yeah. must keep a watchful eye over our fleet-footed friends. What's that? What? 
Oh, there's one of those trap things. What's that? I think I just saw something go into those cattail things. Let's get ourselves a wildebeest, shall we? Actually, let's... What's the distance? Ooh, we got this. We got this. We'll come up right up where... Uh... I don't know if this is going to be a tree stand or a hunting blind. Which one? We can tell by the cost. We can tell by the cost. Oh, blind. Onto the ground. Slither like a snake. He's pushing him. Oh, was... I totally missed that second shot. Not gonna lie. Totally did it. But that first one laid the smack down on him. He didn't go too far. Let's go collect our bounty. But uh, I don't want to eat him if he's full of parasites, like, like I was saying. Got all weird source of funky diseases. Travel to the poaching site. Hoya! There you go. I dismantled you. Savannah. One good deed at a time. Ooh, Gemspark. Yoink! Oh! <gasps> oh! Our first freaking wildebeest on freaking Africa map and it's a freaking gold let's taxidermy this ish oh yes dude look at that thing these things are so weird looking Dang, it's got like tiger stripes on it. Let's go find something else. Another one. Things are freaking everywhere, dude. Another good deed. It is a sad thing because. It People are there are just always so hungry and starving, so they will literally eat anything. Holy crap. With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. I mean, people That's just the are not of picky the wardens on work here in the Vusha. There are other regions to explore, but if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. If you'd rather continue exploring Voronga, head to my wishing tree. Marked on your map. There's that sounds a lot more interesting you must than uh, before we go much further. Doing other missions. Oh. That's super tall grass. Sketchy. Freaking scrub hairs are freaking everywhere. I've hear here I've heard like six of them since we've already been on. I've yet to see one, but it would suck so much to be a freaking rabbit in Africa. Let's be honest, everything wants to destroy you and eat your face off.
Shut up! Can I shoot you? I'm trying to make a video here. Tracks are these. More world beasts. Mm, poopies. The problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, iloco, bringing mischief and misfortune. Oh, again with the superstition our stuff. ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. Seriously, Africans are so freaking superstitious. They blame everything on the freaking demons. We'd be there helping people and then they'd be like, It's the demons! The demons got them! And you're like, what? Oh! A lion! A lion was chasing something. Oh, poo! That's scary. You probably think I'm foolish with my traditional ways. Your brother thinks so. That's why you had to come back and help me. All your brother does is set up communication systems, set up all the cameras and the drones. Okay, he does a lot, but he doesn't hunt. And he doesn't believe in Iloko. I hope you are a little more open-minded. I'm not... Oh! Oh! Guys, our first lion. Where'd he go? 